So let's jump right into it and see what we've got inside. This one is coming all the way from California. Have you been there, Justin? I've never been to Cali, no. I haven't either. I want to go, though. Me too. What's up, Sir Charles? Good to see you. Hey, John, glad you made it. What's up, Kevin? All right, let's see. First class, I see PlayStation Ooh. stuff right off the bat. Okay. PS2, Xbox stuff as well. Jumping right in on a GTA double pack. Double pack. Vice City and Liberty City Story. You know they're remaking the uh, GTA game? I thought I heard you say what, your, uh, Vice City it's included. Mm -hmm. Vice City, San Andreas, and I think the third one. Wow. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Oh, look, more. What's this one? Oh, a trilogy. What's the trilogy have with it? I'm going to say three Vice City and San Andreas. So there's three Vice City, San Andreas, yeah. Good, fine. What's going on, Carl? Carl. <laughs> these are the stories. So uh -huh. the expansions of these. That's it as well. I was just watching some of Liberty City stories being okay. played on YouTube. It was really cool. What's up, Matthew? I'm doing well. Appreciate it. Thanks for the share, John. It always helps. Metal Gear Solid. Here's some PS3 stuff. The SOCOM games, of course. I've never seen Stranglehold. Hmm. John Woo makes kung fu movies, right? Yeah. Oh, did John Woo produce this? It says something about him up there. John, oh, Wu, John presents. Woo presents. Very cool. What's up, Howard? They Good to see you. Gun, uh, gun yes. Where they come through with guns. I've seen that as well. Uh, Mag, I've heard good stuff about. What's up, Jared in Missouri? Appreciate the share. If you guys like seeing stuff like this, get unboxed. Leave a like on the post. Share this video with anybody you know that might be into it. It's always a big help. The Kill Zone trilogy, Ratchet. Mm -hmm. um, hey, Daniel. What is this? I don't know much about it. I just re recognize the cover because it's Kill Bill. This would be the Kill Bill cover. Oh yeah, uh, I see it now. I don't know, it strikes me as a Conqueror's type of game. Just because it's a cute little teddy bear, but there's probably some adult language in it. I think so too. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Anybody know anything about this one? What could possibly be? It looks like a birthday present. Actually, it looks like a glasses case, but I only say that it's glasses. Investigate. What do you think it is, Joey? A harmonica? <laughs> A, a, a Guitar Hero harmonica, maybe. Okay. Uh, Game Boy games. Game Boy games. Got us. Should have known. But wait, there's more. SSX3 and Tricky. Sweet. Got my favorites. The Star Wars uh, Xbox games. Plus Republic Commando. Time Splitters 2 is great. Manhunt I've heard good stuff about. Max Payne's one of my favorites. More Mech Assault. A 50 cent game. Oh, yeah. Bulletproof. I don't know anything about this. I don't either. Is that him holding a bazooka? <laughs> it looks like it. What more do you need? Buffy, were you a big fan? I never watched Buffy. My sister liked Buffy. I've seen a few here a and there. A little bit before was... my time. Okay. Hey, Kevin. Thanks for stopping in with us today. Ooh, the Godfather game. <sighs> I've played that. I've heard good things as well. Okay. The original... No, wait. Half-Life 2? Here it is. Dude, this guy's collection. Fantastic. Halo, original, some sort of Jaws game, Red Dead series, Soul Cal, Van Helsing, hmm? 13, Halo 2 The Steel Book, a bunch of Splinter Cell stuff. Jenna, you made it. Thanks for getting here, Jenna. Um, some Batman stuff, Brutal Legend, Red Alert. What, 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 what? Command and Conquer Red Alert 3. Hmm. I used to play the Red Alert series, and fantastic real-time strategy. Build an army and attack the other base. Oh, that sounds really fun. Maybe some more uh, Xbox games? Appreciate the share, Jenna. I have not tried the Jaws game. I'll bet that is neat, though, Jenna. I've looked at the back of that one before, and it looks fun. Uh, that's so cool, Jonah. That is so cool. Yeah, Jonah, throw, um, throw your uh, TikTok handle out there in the chat. Um, Brady, the GBA games, I did fly past them. If I've got time, I will spin back around. Ooh. Oh, right off the bat, I'm seeing 64. But these are um, in some sort of funny aftermarket case. Investigate one, Justin. Yeah, they look like uh, CD-ROM cases. It does, actually. Okay. Interesting. Have you ever seen that? So hard plastic case with slots for the game to slip into, and, and then like memory card slots. Here? It is. Huh. Does it hold the game in there nice? It does. It's real snug. Let me jump this in, right? What's up, Weed? Good to see ya. Oh my God. Um, Brandon, online at dkoldies.com. 
There's Jonah's TikTok. We did an awesome video the other little while back where we did a duet with Jonah on his uh, TikTok channel. Lots of fun. Check him out. What do you know about it? Uh, I know it was used for three games, I think. One, two of the Mario Party games. Two of the Mario Parties. And I looked it up too. I forget what the third game was. It was some kind of Japanese. There was game. one other, I think, though, too, that maybe wasn't a Japanese game. I can't remember. It's slipping my mind right now. Um, but what I saw of it is in Mario Party, there was this one thing where... Uh, like a tank was going and a bunch of guys were behind it and you get the tank to shoot projectiles at the guys running behind by shouting different words, either fire, fire. do you want it to be uh, the lasers, then it would shoot out the lasers behind you. Interesting. It is an interesting one. All right, continuing on. memory card slot, it looks like. Yeah, that is how it, it's, it's kind of weird. Um, feels like a controller. I'll start handing you some things. Controller, feels like controller. These are some third-party controllers, the Super Pad. Oh, uh, yeah. Probably the most popular third-party uh, N64 controller. I'd I could say. see that, Justin. I could see it. Hey, you Pikachu, Brady's saying. Yeah, I mean, hey, you Pikachu. Uh, yes, Brady, thank you. Well, that was for the <laughs> thank N64. You. No. No. Wait, Brady, is there a Pikachu game on the... I can't remember now. Continue on PS3 stuff, Game of Thrones. Did you follow the series? I did not. No. I didn't either. I, the world was going crazy. Yeah, I know. Uh, uh, is that the one with real strings? Wait, what? Yeah, I think there's a Guitar Hero with real... Oh, no. Okay. It's just a remodeled guitar. It has the frets on the top and the bottom instead of the colored ones. Oh, yeah? Huh. Yeah, it's interesting. Madden. 13. A sports fan. Indeed. I've heard great stuff about Monster Hunter as well. Quarterback Club, Fox Sports. Had a couple of these cases. Supercross. Ready to rumble boxing. Triple play. Circuit Pro. Just to investigate this Ooh. little batch. What could this be? Oh, it looks like some. Okay. Mario Party 6 and 7, Odama, Odama, uh, that's it, Brady, that's it and Karaoke Revolution. Good work, Brady. Here we go, some NES, SNES games. What do you see? So we got Donkey Kong Country 1, the second one. I like the second one the best. Really? Personally, yeah. I think it has the best levels. Okay. Do you disagree, Joe? I don't, I haven't spent enough time with it. I assumed everybody was going to say 1 or maybe 3 once they've kind of like finished out the series. I'll spend some time with 2, yeah, though, if I you think, recommend it. I think it. you should, I recommend. Final Fight. Street Fighter 2, All-Stars, ooh, Super Mario World, maybe my favorite SNES game. Ooh, and a Star Wars game. Good ones. What about this batch right here? Wait. Oops. Super Nintendo games are some of my favorite too, Daniel. And the thing is, ooh. I grew up on the NES. It had always been my favorite console, but Super Nintendo is... Like gearing up to take its place. Now, Joey, do you think the faceplate comes off of this one? Yes. Yes. I'm going to say no. Okay. Bold. Bold claim. Oh, you're right, Joey. Oh, it does. Look, Jessen's... Go ahead. Jessen's going to pop that little faceplate right off. You should be an expert at this by now. There we go. Bingo. And Boom. did you see the secret code that's up here? We discovered this a little bit ago. Some sort of secret code Nintendo hidden has hidden underneath the faceplate. Someone said it Very was maybe intriguing. a Spotify logo. <laughs> I think that's the coolest idea. There, uh, there are Spotify things that you could scan with your phone. It'll start the playlist. Imagine if it was a, <laughs> to a playlist and it was to just one song and it was the boot up sound. Something made 20 years before Spotify was invented. On the Switch sometime next week. Yo, I can't wait to see Braid. That sounds awesome. <gasps> You, I do see um, console in here, Justin. Right. Ba -ba -ba Bingo. <laughs> um, okay, wow. Super Nintendo stuff. Look at how it's all like sectioned off. Pretty cool. Super Nintendo manuals. I have a strong feeling this is going to be to go along with all the games that he's got in there. Some other NES manuals. Check out that poster. I love looking Ooh. at the posters. Oh, Contra 3. Fantastic one. 
Wow, Joey, this is in perfect condition. Justin's unraveling. That is just beautiful. A near perfect poster here. Mickey Mania, Mickey Mania. cool Man. one. 1994, wow. Good Looks find. Looks brand new. Good find. All right, continuing on. What is a poster for Uniracers? Did we play that? Uh, unicycle racing, racing game. I have. Those I've are just some of the this, maps. But I have played games online that are like Splash games. Ah, got it. So yep. Kind of reminded me of one of those. It is a mixed unboxing. Chris was actually off today. You know? Yeah. Wait. The Darkwing Duck. The, um, Jenna. Remember? It wasn't the song. Didn't they say "Let's get dangerous"? I think I remember that from the TV show. Am I right about that? Henry's going crazy over the manuals. I knew he would. F Zero. Street Fighter, the mouse manual. What is this? I don't know like much about it. Rugrats. <laughs> Here's the Uniracers game. Um, riderless unicycles race around the cart, if you can believe it. Scary. Ocarina, something else. Desert Strike, something else. Ah, oh, the Secret of Mana book. What a cool art on yeah, that's that. Beautiful. Yeah, that really is. The manual for the something or other. Oh, an X2? Is that going to be in here? Is that a map? Check it. Contra are some of the hardest games out here, Claudio. I thought Contra 1 on NES was hard, and then I tried um, Contra 3, Alien Wars. Looks like a teaser to what might be in this box, Joey. Final Fantasy 3 for Good the SNES. catch. I agree, you're right. Jen, I thought it was. I knew it. All right, continuing on. Donkey Kong, Bulls and Blazers. These are, I'm seeing some of these games matching up. Yep, John, let's get dangerous. Yep. Oh, X. X and X2, what a find. Um, a Link to the Past, and look at this X2. Wow. Protected in its dust cover sleeve. Beautiful. That's perfect. And the first. Why do we call these Mega Man X and not Mega Man 10? I don't know. X sounds cooler. Go with it. Mario World Final Fight. And what is this Joe and Matt game about? All I've ever seen of it is these two cartoon heads. Well, one of them is you, Joey. Oh boy, you're right. Base is loaded. Secret of Mana. Mana. Final Fantasy. Super Metroid. Wow. Jordan, I thought I saw you posting that you grabbed some of those Dreamcast games from the unboxing the other day. That was good find. Contra 3, there it is. Super Off-Road as well. Henry, we did. We just came across the Mega Man. Was it on the last unboxing? Was that Friday? Um, Animaniacs and the Uniracers game. Jim Cummings. Yeah, Brady. That sounds familiar to me as well. Um, SimCity and F-Zero I see down there. And then look at all these Whoa. manuals. Henry, we're restocking. What ones are you looking for, Henry? What console? The Gremlins? Gremlins. And the Mega Man manuals, five for NES. Just wow. Um, continuing on to this little cubby here. NES, the anticipation game. They're so excited. <laughs> what are they anticipating, Joey? I think they're playing... Um, I, I forget what the anticipation game is, how you play. It's, I'm thinking concentration, the one where all the cards are flipped over on a table, uh -huh. and you, like, you flip them all upright, see where they are, and then flip them over. Yeah. Uh, do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I know. Oh, okay. I, know <laughs> I didn't know how to describe is, it. <laughs> no, I don't know. Like, uh, I think it's a game show, though. We're going to give you something. Wait, no. Nintendo's first video board game. Ooh. So maybe it started as a board game. Wow. Did it come with a board? <sighs> we need the info on this anticipation, <laughs> clearly. Double Dragon 3. Beautiful. The Mega Man 4 one, Henry? Got it. Do you have the manual for five? Kung Fu. Wow, some more manuals in here. Don't come across manuals very often at all. I don't know if there was a Darkwing for Super Al. I, not that I know of, I don't think. Gyromite. Wheel of Fortune. More turtles. Double Dragon 2. Oh, wow. Ooh. What a copy. Just one thing that's unique about this one is it's the five screw version. Oh, yeah. Definitely harder to find on Zelda. And it's a beaut 
Um, it's a beaut to boot. I can see myself in this. It's like a mirror. <laughs> beaut to boot. The Mega Man games artwork style varies among them. Hmm. Four is not bad, a little cartoony. Three's okay. The kid looks a little like a gremlin though. <laughs> Two got real weird. <laughs> uh, standard Mario Bros. Ew, Gremlins and Gremlins too. too. What did, did you watch these movies? I, I love the second Gremlins movie. It's, I don't know if I remember that one as much, but Gremlins was horrifying for me as yeah, a kid. It's very scary. Well, the, the second one's more silly, and they talk. The Gremlins talk in it. Oh, uh, yeah? Yeah, I'm not good. What do you guys think about Gremlins 2? Is it better than the first? Same deal where they can't eat after midnight or get wet or something? Same deal. What's worse, eating or getting wet? Getting wet multiplies them. Oh, so okay. I say getting wet. Okay. In the long run, Was there Gremlins 3? I don't think so. Some 64 manuals, Perfect Dark. What? All kinds. Ah. Oh. It's, it's um a hefty little book. I don't yeah. see this one too often. There's a lot of tips. Wait, the, 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 uh, the anticipation, the board game that would pop parts up when the time ran out? No, I, I, that's, that's not... No? Okay. Okay. Uh, I do know what he's talking. I do. I do recognize that, though. Maybe it is anticipation. What is this? What? It's laminated. Oh, it's a folder. Very cool. Metal Gear. Interesting. Wow. I have, Andy. I actually have come across some Little Nemo. We came across a complete Little Nemo a while back, if you can believe it. Almost drop the phone. Um, the Maps and Strategies Guide, another that I don't see too often. I've never seen it stored like this, though. Jenna agrees. She likes Gremlins too bad. Oh, is this Mega Man 5? Wow. The hardest to find of all the Mega Mans. Really? Did just they just not make this enough? collection? I'm not 100% sure why some are like that. Mario Bros. 3. Wow. It's a left bros copy. Explain to me what that means, Joey. The... Grab any other... Uh, oh, they're being cleaned right now. Yeah, they are being cleaned right now. Basically, the word bros is over here on the left-hand side. In later revisions, they moved it over here huh. where there was more room and it fit more comfortably. Just makes sense, yeah. Um, don't see that too often at all. Wow. Dr. Mario. Ice hockey. The Ocarina of Time manual. Oh, I just thought this was kind of crazy. Wiley Country Club. Wiley. Wiley. <laughs> ah, a link copy. And it's just phew, the gold. You know, over time, the gold kind of wears away. So it reveals the black underneath, if you can believe it's actually black. But, um, Jared, I don't know much about telling if it's a first print copy. I'll give you one quick flash of the details here. There's no actual like numbers and stuff down there at the bottom. That's all I got for you. Now can you find uh, five screw versions of... I think you can. Or, uh, I think. Two. I think, Justin, I'm not 100% on it though. Duck Hunt and Mock Rider. Would you let Dr. Mario work on you? What do you say, Justin? Do you trust Dr. <laughs> Mario's medical skills? I, yeah, I trust him. He's the best doctor in the Mushroom Kingdom after all. That's a good point. Justin brings up a good point. I would be a little bit nervous about it, though, Jen. <laughs> uh, maybe just routine things, like a checkup or something, but no sort of surgery, no Jenna. No. He is good with viruses, Brady mentions. That's a great point. That is a good point, yeah, Brady. You might, yeah. you might find a uh, uh, mushroom in place. Of, uh, <laughs> Ew. You're right. Spleen or something. I don't know. Um, Justin, why don't you do the little test here, just through weight alone? You've probably held thousands of NESs in your day. <laughs> so, um, does that have the additional weight of a game being inside it? I don't think so. Okay, let's check it. Yeah. Bingo. You I see, know, it's how. I know retro video. It's how it's done. DK Audio.